Hi everyone, I'm Rockin' Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make my tropical coconut shrimp recipe. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cook up our shrimp and in a nice sauce of garlic and onions and coconut milk and pineapple and then we're going to serve it over a bed of delicious coconut rice. So let's go over our ingredients for our recipe. First off, I'm going to group this into um, sections. So we're going to start with our rice. Here I've got a cup and a half of white rice. I'm using jasmine rice today, but you can use any kind of white rice you like. We'll need some coconut milk. We'll need some uh, chicken broth and some salt. Now for the rest of our recipe, here we have our prawns or our shrimp. These are the large ones. These are about 30 to the pound. And I'm going to do a quick frost on these in just a minute. We'll go over that in just a little bit. And then we'll need some, I have a couple of mushrooms here, diced up. I like to do them diced up because my family prefers them that way. And that way we can get the mushroom flavor throughout the whole dish. Then we'll need some pineapple. I have crushed pineapple in its own juice. And of course you want to include a little bit of the juice with this. I've got some, pars uh, this is actually some cilantro, just diced up for, for garnish. I'm, I'll need some more coconut milk for this recipe. And I've got some diced onion. Yellow, this is just a yellow onion. And here I've got some white wine. And I've got some chili powder right here. We'll need a little bit of that. And some coconut oil. You can use olive oil if you don't have coconut oil. And I have some uh, minced garlic. And we'll need a little bit of pepper. And that should do it. So the first thing we want to do is start off making our rice because that'll take about 20 minutes to cook. So what I have here is a nice, pan, nice big pan, and I'm going to go ahead and put the temperature on to medium. And I'm going to add my chicken broth, my coconut milk, and the rice. And the salt. Now cook yours according to whatever type of rice you're using. Cook it according to the, the package directions. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my flame up to high. I want to get this to a boil, and then we'll just simmer it for uh, 20 minutes. Okay, so now we need to defrost our shrimp. So I'm going to do a quick thaw with this. All I'm going to do is pour my shrimp into a colander and run cold water over them. It'll take about three or four minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the shells and the tails, everything off of this. That way we don't have to deal with it when we're eating it. Okay, so the way you want to take the shell off is to just peel it off like this. These shrimp have already been deveined, and I'll show you in just a second. And you just pull it right off the tail, just like that. You still got some here. Now over here you can see they've already, already been deveined, and that's the way they came in the package. So give it one more little rinse and then just put it in your container. So now that we have all of our shrimp defrosted and peeled, everything's ready to go. And by the way, my rice is done. I checked it and it was done at about 18 minutes. And so I'm just keeping it on the stove to keep it nice and warm. Now we're ready to start cooking our shrimp part. All right, I've got my pan on medium high and I'm gonna be adding my coconut oil and you can use olive oil if you, if you want to. I'm gonna melt that up. Coconut oil, uh, tends to be a solid at room temperature, and that's why it looks the way it does. Now I'm going to add the onion and the mushrooms. And I'm going to go ahead and cook this for about 15 minutes. I want to, you know, it's like, like I always tell you whenever I'm cooking uh, diced onions and mushrooms and garlic, I like to cook them slow and low. So I'm going to cook this for about 15 minutes. Even 20 would be even better. And I'll just keep stirring them and we'll be back in just a few minutes. So here are our onions and mushroom mixture after about 20 minutes. And you can see how it's cooked down real nice. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. And I'm going to work that in, get it to the heat. Now remember, this is all on, on low heat now. After about um, th three or four minutes, you're going to want to uh, turn your heat down from when you're caramelizing your onions because otherwise they'll, they, they may burn unless you're stirring them constantly. 
And uh, I wanted to mention just a little story about how I got into caramelizing my onions. I always talk about it. And you see a lot of recipes that say, you know, caramelize your onions for, or don't even caramelize them, just cook them for three to five minutes. Well, I, I find that, you know, I told you before that the caramelizing process really brings out a lot of flavor. And I got this from my husband's grandmother. She was a little lady from Italy, and she made the best spaghetti in the whole world. And she always caramelized her onions. I mean, she cooked them down low and slow for 30 minutes, I think. And her stuff, her food was always incredible. So I figured if her spaghetti can taste wonderful by using caramelized onions, it's got to be good for everything. So that's what I started doing, and I love it. I've never had a recipe that said, gee, I caramelized my onions and it, and it didn't make it taste good. So that's my tip for the day. Caramelize your onions for 20 minutes, and you're going you're gonna to find your recipes are that much better. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cook this up just for another second or two. I think the, the garlic has been cooked in. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this out of this pan and put it in this dish right over here and set it aside. Okay, so now we'll come back to our pan. We're going to put the temperature, I'm going to raise the temperature up to high. I'm going to add my wine and then we're going to cook our shrimp for about a minute over high heat. So I'm going to wait just a second to get that temperature up. Right. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the shrimp. We're going to keep the temperature on high and cook these until they start to turn pink. I'll turn them over in about one minute. Okay, you can see that the shrimps are starting to turn pink. Now you got to be careful not to overcook shrimp. So I'm going to go ahead and start flipping them over and cook them on the second side for probably about 30 seconds. Of course, it takes me a little bit to get them all turned over. All right, so I flipped them over. Now I'm going to add all the other ingredients. I'm going to add the pineapple. Oh, and by the way, let's turn the heat down to medium. And we'll add our chili powder. And sprinkle it over. That way you can get it dispersed pretty well. Now we're adding our coconut milk. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this. Just get a little salt and pepper. And now I need to add my onion mushroom mixture back in. And we're going to just combine everything well and just heat it through for about five minutes and we'll be ready to serve it. So I'm going to combine everything. So everything's done and we're ready to serve this up. My house smells amazing. It smells very delicious. So I've got our rice over here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of rice on my plate. And then we're going to top it with our delicious uh, shrimp. Look at that, with the sauce. And then you want to top it off with a little bit of cilantro, just a little sprinkle, give it a little color. And if you don't like cilantro, you can always substitute with parsley. Cut off a little piece here. And you want to get that sauce with, that, with those caramelized onions, for sure. Mmm. Very delicious. The rice is, is nice and mild with the coconut flavor, so it's not just plain white rice. And the sauce, you can taste the caramelized onions, the coconut milk, the pineapple, gives it a little tropical flavor. It's delicious. I hope you guys will try this. You will really enjoy it. And be sure and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. And if you want more Mexican recipes that you can cook at home, go ahead and head on over to cookingmexicanrecipes.com. And I have a free newsletter there too for you if you'd like to sign up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Buongiorno! Hey, it's Rockin' Robin here from CookingMexicanRecipes.com and I'm in an Italian mood, so today I'm going to show you how to make some scampi. Now, my